friends welcome back to my channel so in this video uh, we are finally going to try a tutorial from Helen Alliston's um, Color Special Effects Volume 1 um, as you know at the end of March I uh, wanted to try out the poll function from YouTube and I ask you um, which topic I should do so and everybody or the most of you voted for the Helen Allison tutorials and of course I uh, wanted to do one tutorial together with you and it is still around Easter so I have a little bit of Easter decoration on my table and my little bunny is jumping <laughs> uh, however I um, gave you the option for four of her tutorials, two from her first volume and two of her second volume and um, you decided almost um, almost 100% of you wanted to see the crystals tutorial. So this is what we are going to do today and you can see um, the amazing crystals from, Han from um, Helen Alliston. Uh, this is the tutorial page, page for the uh, crystals um, and I have asked Helen for permission to do that tutorial video uh, but still I won't show you um, the complete uh, page that is why I laid this one down because basically I don't want um, somebody to take a screenshot of the um, yeah, page um, because I think we need to um, uh, respect copyright and um, yeah, because Helen has put a lot of love and um, effort into this book, and it is part of uh, her income as an artist, I think. Oh, I would suggest, I don't know, but um, I hope you have the uh, same mindset as I have, so apologize that I'm not showing you just the, compl um, yeah, the complete page for you to copy, but we will do the um, tutorial together. So I was for the look for nice crystals for us to color, and um, of course I found them in Hannah Carlsenberg. And I decided to do something from Magical Dawn from Hannah Carlson. And um, yeah, basically, actually, I wanted to do this page together with you. So I also filmed the background, um, how I did the background, and I used Neo, uh, Neo Color too on that. So stay tuned for that if you want to see it. Also, used um, some Colero paints, I think. But now I made up my mind and I basically um, started to try out her tutorial on, on this page. Um, see here? This is the uh, crystal that I colored um, following her tutorial. Um, in her first volume she doesn't give, give us the exact um, Prisma color numbers, so we are free to choose as many colors as we like and as you might know I like to use quite a lot different shades um, yeah so I thought we will um, color a blue crystal together for now uh, it will be this one I think and um, but before we start I will show you um, which colors we will use for that and uh, what mediums we will need and as you can see I have quite a lot of um, colors here for this little small crystal <laughs> so I went a little bit crazy as I always do and um, besides from the pencils we will also need um, a kind of an eraser but with um, a small um, Tip so that we can, um, so we could use either the uh, Perfection one by Faber Castell or I have another one by Queen or Tombow, I think they have good eraser too. Um, then we will need a white gel pen or a white postcard 
or yeah, anything to, to um, cover up the black lines. Of course, we will need a white prisma, and in this um, yeah video, I won't use this small um, stamp. I decided to go with a bigger one so that you can follow me better. And then I will shortly introduce the colors that I will use. So we have here we have the light green, and then the pink rose, lilac. This is Palmer Violet and our blue shades. This is Sky Blue Light for blending and then Non Photo Blue, um, the True Blue, then I've got the Cerulean Blue, um, Copenhagen Blue. Then I wanted to give a little bit of a violet tint, so Violet Blue. And maybe for darker shading, indigo blue, but this one I use very sparingly. Of course, you could also need an eraser and something to wipe off. So, let's get started now. I really don't know where to put all these things. I don't have the space here on this little recording plate that I use. So, let's get started. So we should start with coloring light and medium blues. So I just start and put a light layer on the first side of the crystal uh, with my lightest blue, which is the non-photo blue. And then I go in with my second darker blue. This is the uh, true blue. And also I'm just doing a light layer to start off. And I hope I will manage to do um, this crystal as nice as my first try, <laughs> uh, which I basically really like how the look of it. Um, what else? Okay, then we go in with darkest colors and I will do the uh, back side of this facet. Uh, I use the Copenhagen blue and I just put a light layer here and I fade it out up to the top so I get really light at the top part. The bottom part you can give it a little bit more pressure already and um, then I want to blend in the violet blue a little bit. So also starting on the bottom part. And I'm going up like with a little diagonal line here. Yeah. Okay. And then I take my darkest color, which is the indigo blue. And this one I use at the very bottom part and put it, pull it a little bit up too. Okay. And then, what did I do then? I blend it in with the non-photo blue. This is the lightest, not the lightest blue, but yeah, blend this in a little bit. And then I will go in with my Palmer Violet from the top part here and I'm trying to fade it out when I go um, to the bottom. Yeah, so getting lighter and I also want to blend in a little bit of the violet here. On this side. We, so I'm going in with quite light pressure and blending it over a little bit and I'm going down in a diagonal line. Now I go in with my light violet. This is lilac. 
and um, I'm starting from the top to blend it in and um, trying to get lighter with it and I can also use this color to burn um, this color a little bit more and then I go in with my uh, pink rose from the bottom part here and you know blend this in okay and then so what else yeah let me just read quickly what we have to do now show light reflecting inside use pencils that are darker than each facet to add little patches on the facets then use a fine nipped eraser okay so we are creating some texture now i'm trying to blend in uh, the picture for you so that you know what we need to do but before i do that I will just go in and um, yeah, shade this a little bit more. So I'm going in with my so cerulean blue from the bottom part here. Um, yeah, and this step I just do on my own. It's not mentioned um, exactly there, but I just like to do that to shade this part a little bit more before we continue. And I'm just going from the bottom part to the upper side and again a little bit with a diagonal line. And I also go in with my uh, true blue and do this on this facet here as well. And by the way, we also need to, so now I will go in with my non-photo blue and shade that in a little bit more, also here, and yeah, then we will soon blend everything with white. But now let's go in with the with the non photo blue and shade um, those facets here with very 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 light pressure and leaving the bottom part white and then I go in with my uh, light green and do that on this part here uh, yeah also letting the down part uh, white. I'm also going in here with the green, blend that in a little bit and I use the sky blue white. White before we do that I use the non-photo blue going in from that side and coming very very light and then yeah I use this um, sky blue light For blending that in a little bit also using it, using it on all the facets for blending it a little bit together and yeah so um Okay, so now we shall go in with darker colors in each and each of the facets and scribbling a little bit. So I'll just start here on this facet and this is almost not visible and you just scribble a little bit 
doesn't have to look like great or something just you know scribble a little bit in there and, um, with one of your dark colors uh, whoop, I went out a little bit And then we need our eraser. Yeah, maybe I take my Robert Castell one. I'm so sorry, oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know, this with the um, erasing doesn't work as good, I have to say. Just um, small like spots, and then and then I will go in. Let me see what is the next step. Okay, now I would go in with the white to blend everything together nicely. As uh, the crystal uh, should be shiny. It's okay to basically I maybe just have should have um yeah done this step with scribbling later on you know as I did on yeah, the other one, and I use the uh, sky blue light on the part down here for blending, and I might also just, you know, use a little bit more of a darker color. Um, yeah, we'll take this color to add a little bit. I think the um, yeah, most probably the scribbling. And the erasing should have been done after I blend everything. Yeah, just let it the way it is. Maybe go in with a little bit of scribbling again. Okay. Just want to have this side a little bit, you know, darker. Okay. So the next part is to take out those lines and we don't need to take them out perfectly so we can maybe let a little bit of the line visible so it doesn't need to be perfect
Yeah, and this most of the time is the part that makes it kind of like crystally. Okay. And um, so the next step. Okay, now we go in with the gel pen again and we um, do like little triangular little triangulars triangulars yeah we just um, paint in some really strong you know light on the edges especially on the uh, upper part like so Ooh. Okay. I think that's enough and then we add some dots to the upper part and I think it is not working. I'll just take my Posca. This is doing the job just a little bit better. Okay, so we added a few dots, so paint up myself. And then the last step is just to add a few, like, you know, like those streaks, you know. Yeah, just like so. And that's basically the crystal. So you know, this was quite a whole lot of colors that I used. I have to say that I like to blend a lot of colors together. This is just my style. So I hope this was a little bit helpful for you. I hope you like how those crystals came out. Um, I think I will now uh, either color a few more on my own and come back then. Um, or I will try out other color combinations. And then maybe um, show you another color combination. I think that is something that you might do. Um, so I'm not saying bye at the moment. We'll 